Well, good morning. I'm Pastor Jay, and this is a devotional time. Well, hopefully that you had a wonderful and blessed weekend out at your respected churches this uh, this Sunday. We had a, a, a fabulous time out at LFBC. Uh, Sunday morning, we, we really had a, an awesome service. We were able to, to dive in uh, to the Word of God in the book of James, uh, trying to finish out some of of uh, chapter one, talking about uh, the Word of God. He talks about uh, going through trials. He talks about going through temptation. Then he talks about Christian living in 19 through 27 of chapter one. And uh, we talked about receiving God's Word. We talked about reflecting God's Word. And we talked about replicating God's Word. Wonderful time. Holy Spirit was in, was in full effect. And then last night, we were able to see uh, Gospel Truth Trio came out and they blessed us in song. This morning, I want to look at something a little different. Um, I want us to uh, to uh, turn our focuses on um, the word for you today. This is a publication uh, that we offer at, at uh, LFBC uh, from the publicist. They You'll see these around town from different churches, and it's a wonderful devotional that you can get up. It's, it's dated. It has the dates in it. Uh, it has the, the different paragraphs that you can read with the practical application to uh, the scripture. Uh, this is something that I, I truly uh, have been putting forth to our congregation, and you'll notice ours and ours is is uh, monogrammed. It has our name on it. It also has um, my wife and I's picture in the inside cover. It's a wonderful publication. It's a wonderful way to get up, get started with your day in the Word of God and learning how you can apply it to your daily lives. Now, I want to look at this morning's uh, word for you today. Uh, it's going to be coming out of uh, the book of Psalms. Uh, it's going to be in chapter 40. Before we do, let us pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, God, thank you so much for the wonderful and awesome time we had out at LFBC this weekend. Father God, we just love you. We praise you. We thank you, Father. Lord God, lift us up today on this Monday. Lord God, as uh, as we go off and, and to our respective businesses or whatever the case, Lord, and protect those that are out of school for the summer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, he wants to talk about, in, in, in the devotional this morning, we'll look at waiting on God and, and, and the perfection uh, that comes from waiting. You know, we can, we can take our lives whatever direction we want. It, God gives us free will to take our lives in any direction we want. We can wake up today and say that we want to uh, live a destructive lifestyle. We can go and do whatever it is that we wish we want to do, whatever feels good to our flesh and whatever pleasures our flesh, and we can have a life uh, living like that and, and, and end that destruction. But the Word of God would tell us to do otherwise. And, and it says sometimes in order to live that perfect life, there's waiting involved. And in chapter 40 of, of uh, the book of Psalms, um, the great psalmist David here, uh, I want to read this to you. It says in 1 and 2 and 3, it says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he came unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit or a horrible mess and out of a, a, a muddy clay. And he set my feet upon a rock and established my walk. Hallelujah. And it says, and he has put a new song in my mouth, even praises unto God in my mouth. And many shall see this and fear. And then they too shall trust in the Lord. Well, hallelujah and praise God. Dear ones, sometimes there's waiting involved with the perfection that God has out there for us. You see, the Lord wants to give you that which is perfect for you, that which he has ordained for you, that which he has set into motion for you specifically. But so many times we try to go off on a tangent, go out on our own, do our own thing in our own way, and we kind of we kind of sidestep God thinking that we know better. And that's exactly what that's saying to God, that we know what we need better than God does. Many times it just becomes out of frustration that we're ready to move on. The word for you today talks about a person who's trying to find that significant other, that, that person to love, that, that relationship. And they, they find themselves being in a relationship with someone who might not have their same values, their same beliefs, or their same Christian ethics. And we know that that's not what God would have for them, that God would be saying to wait a little longer and let his perfect plan come into effect. Well, dear ones, this morning as you go off to work or to school or to play, remember this. Sometimes we need to wait in order for us to receive what that is that perfect for us. 
And it's always, always best to wait when God is the one that we're waiting for. Well, hallelujah and praise God. Well, there again, my name is Reverend Jay Work. I'm the pastor at Leonard Fork Baptist Church. If you do not have a home church, why don't you come out to Leonard Fork? I know that you'll be happy to see what Jesus Christ is doing there. Have a great day. Visit us at www.leonardsfork.org. Come out and see us this summer, 10 a.m. Sunday school, 11 a.m. worship service, and have a blessed day today.